hunt is on in Wake Forest for three venomous lizards that escaped a home in the Bowling Green neighborhood. That's where our Carly Griffith is this afternoon with what we know at this point. And Carly, have there been any sightings at all? There have, Russ. According to the town of Wake Forest, there have been several sightings reported on social media. Those sightings happened in this neighborhood, the Bowling Green neighborhood, right behind me here. Now, let's get down to what we're really dealing with here. Now, Gila monsters can get up to about two feet long. They usually have bright spots on them, so they should be easy to point out. These escaped Gila monsters are pets, obviously, but the wild lizards spend most of their time underground and like to sunbathe, so look out for them on roads and sidewalks. Now, they are slow moving, and while their bites are painful and venomous, they are not life threatening. But if you see one of these Gila monsters out here around Wake Forest, then do not approach it. Just give Wake County Animal Control a call. Live in Wake Forest, Carly Griffith, CBS North Carolina.